you know, fate may have led to the discovery. According to those neighbors, a letter carrier delivering a package just happened to glance down. I'm looking at letters, I'm looking like magazines, I'm looking at coupons. Bobby Phillips is surveying what appears to be hundreds of pieces of mail found nowhere near anyone's mailbox. And neither he nor his neighbors are happy about it. This is uh, outrageous, actually. It really is. I mean, this is U.S. mail. It ends up in a storm drain. That's right, a storm drain. This point of view looks like the letters are behind bars, imprisoned. Mail that potentially includes someone's long-awaited check, important medical records, or other personal business. It's horrible. It's very bad. You know, I feel bad whoever, whoever done this or... Uh, it's a big problem. According to neighbors, a letter carrier who normally covers this route spotted the abandoned mail, a discovery that brought out cameras and the curious from up and down the street. I think he stopped here because he was going to deliver a little package there. And when he got out of yeah. the truck, his eyes must have went down and he, yeah. and he like it caught his eyes. Yeah. Caught his eyes. He wanted to call it in because this is his route. He didn't want to be held responsible for this, obviously. So he called it in, and a uh, lady came here from the post office and uh, checked it out, and then. Of course, they had to call the county to come pick up the storm drain, the, the, the grill, grill grid here. A Baltimore County worker pried open the grate and began fishing out the mail one big scoop after another. An unorthodox delivery to a U.S. postal official. Yes, I have it. They even checked underneath manhole covers. You can come here and meet me because I'm getting ready to sort this. Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night stays these couriers from the swift completion of their appointed rounds. This day, they can add storm drains to that promise. Not specifically to this case because U.S. Postal Service is not commenting on this case, but generally, a conviction of stealing other people's mail is a federal crime and in some cases carries a maximum five years in jail and a $250,000 fine. Reporting live from Parkville, David Collins, WVAL-TV 11 News.